Uh, shouldn't Kyan and Falls be heading north? Yep, they should be. Hmm. I think I need to steer them in the right direction with some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. The Academy is where it's at. With Ubercorn, funky top three. Three. The compass is an amazing device invented in China over 2,000 years ago to help people find their way around the world. It all works thanks to the power of magnets. Earth has a magnetic north pole that attracts the magnetic needle on a compass, making it point north. One. A compass shows four directions, north, east, south, and west. If you know which direction you want to go in, then a compass can tell you if you're going the right way. Okay, that's the panda's den finished. How do they like the bamboo, Foz? Uh, they really, really like it. <laughs> hey, Foz and Lars, we're on our way to check out your panda den. Great! It's all finished! Yeah! Awesome! Great job, you two. Uh, but we're running out of bamboo. Uh. <laughs> Relax, Foz. It's time to munch on some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorns, funky top three. Three. There are less than 2,000 pandas left in the wild. Places like the Wolong Nature Reserve in China help to look after pandas and increase the numbers of this precious, beautiful animal. Two. Giant pandas eat a lot of bamboo, up to 38 kilos every day. That's the same weight as two whole vases. One. The bamboo forests are in danger from deforestation. That's when trees are chopped down faster than new ones can grow. Pandas can't survive without bamboo. Launching truckster in three, two, one. Seatbelts. Go! go, go, go. Finally, I'll be the first to find the Geodome of the Ancients! This map will lead me right to it. Yeah! <laughs> this way, Grimbots! <laughs> Who put that there? <laughs> this way, Grimbots! <laughs> so, all these lines and symbols show places and objects around us. Right, Ubercorn? Right, Foz. Let me help you find your way with some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn, funky top three. Three. Geography means drawing the world. And we draw the world with maps. Two. Maps use symbols to show the world around you. Roads, rivers, and different landmarks are pictured to help you find your way. One. Maps come in different scales. Some show whole countries. Some show cities. <laughs> and you can even get a map to show the houses in your street. Gentlemen, it's a beautiful day for the Ontario Lumberjack Championship. Yay! <laughs> hey, Gojetas, how are you enjoying the Boreal Forest? It's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Oh. Ah. Oh. Aced it. <laughs> you can leave the acing to me today, Kayan. No way. My turn next. <laughs> nice work, Zuli. Now let me keep things rolling with some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorns, Funky Top Three. Canada is the second largest country in the world, and nearly half of it is covered by the boreal forest. Some of the trees are cut down for timber or to make paper, but that's okay. Not too many trees are cut down at once, and plenty of new trees are planted. This makes the forest sustainable. Before there were roads here, logs were transported by floating them down the rivers. Lumberjacks had to step onto the floating logs and spin them round to stop them blocking the way. One. This huge forest is also home to lots of animals. Moose, wolves, and great big bears. Yow! Welcome to the Tim God Ruins, Go Jetters! Awesome! Geographic! What is this place? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Time for some oh-so-funky facts. Yow! Funky facts! Funky facts! Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorns, Funky Top three. Tim God is a huge city that was built by the Romans nearly 2,000 years ago. All the streets here are in a grid, running east and west, or north and south. It was such a great idea that many modern cities still use this design today. At the west end of the city is Trajan's Arch, named after a Roman emperor. It was built to make a fantastic entrance to the city, and is still standing strong today. Remember, be very careful exploring. These ruins are very delicate. Go, Jetters! Go! Use the grid system to find your way around. Rimbles, where is everyone? Where are we? Where's the computer shop? This place is just ruins! Why do I have to do everything myself? Right, back to Grim HQ! <laughs> the no chetters! That's all I need! Good job we're leaving! Wow, a great blue heron! Amazing! Oh, I hope we see a spoon, Bill. What's a spoon, Bill? A bird with a beak shaped like a spoon. Huh. Hey, there's one. Over on that nest. Cayenne, do you have a quiet voice? Oops. Is this better? Much better. <gasps> Alligators! Sorry about my noisy friend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, hi, Zilly. Hello. Glad you're enjoying the Everglades National Park, Go Jetters. Good trip, Zuli. Great, Ubercorn. But is this really a park? It's more like a huge river or a giant swamp. <laughs> Let me flow what I know with some funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn, Funky Top Three. Everglades National Park in Florida is a huge network of wetlands, land covered with shallow water, so big you could fit a country in there. In the past, local people built shelters over the water, called chickies. These days, visitors can use the chickies to watch the park's amazing wildlife. The Everglades are home to a treasure trove of birds and animals, including 200,000 alligators, 
ancient creatures related to the dinosaurs. <laughs> Lots of patience plus extreme carefulness equals... <gasps> Discovering an amazing Egyptian artifact! <laughs> wow, geographic! Made by Egyptians thousands of years ago. Another visit to Egypt, another wonder discovered. Just like the Great Pyramids. Come on, let's check out the Sphinx. Uh, you mean the Great Sphinx? <laughs> we get it, Foz. Everything's great. You love ancient Egypt. <laughs> Foz is right, Cayenne. It's called the Great Sphinx. Time for some funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. It's the Great Sphinx is one of the oldest statues in the world, built by hand thousands of years ago. It was carved from the limestone rock that lies underneath Giza. Limestone has hard and soft layers. The soft rock can be damaged by wind, rain, and sand, so people work hard to protect the Great Sphinx for the future. When it was first discovered, you could only see the Sphinx's head, but buried underneath the sand, experts uncovered a lion's body, long paws, and a tail. Enough Geo Giant training. Time to put me down. Ah! Oh. Oh. Huh? Huh? Uh, where have all the cadets gone? Uh oh. I think that's our answer right there. What's happened to all the trees? Uh, what's that? Grandmaster Glitch! Trouble, Gojettas. A mudslide. Time for urgent, funky facts. Mudslides usually happen on steep, muddy slopes when there's heavy rain. The roots of trees help to hold soil together. But if trees are removed, it can cause mudslides. Mudslides are very powerful and can reach high speeds. They sweep things along and can destroy anything in their path. Rain plus muddy slope minus trees equals mudslide. The cadets and Glitch are in trouble. You need to get them out of there. We're on it, Ubercorn. Truckster, let's roll. Launching Truckster in three. Two, one, seatbelts, go! Woohoo! <laughs> Surf's up! Race, you're there! That was some storm last night. Yes, the wind kept waking me up. <laughs> Come on, Sleepy. Last one there's a rusty Grimbox! <laughs> huh? Grandmaster Glitch! Huh? You've glitched the beach! Why do you know Jetters always think it's my fault? <laughs> well, it's not Grandmaster Glitch's fault. This rubbish was blown here by last night's storm, and we're using his recycling skills to help clear up the mess. Come on, don't just stand there. Time to clean up. Whoa, there's so much of it. And there's lots more out there. Huh? huh? Out there? Let me fill you in with some urgent funky facts. Instead of being reused or recycled, Lots of plastic is just dumped into our oceans. It doesn't rot, so it never goes away and turns parts of the oceans into thick, plasticky soup. Yuck! 
all this plastic causes big problems for seabirds and animals that live in the oceans. They can accidentally eat it or get tangled up. There are several huge garbage patches in the oceans of the world, but the largest is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's as big as a country. Okay, go jetters. Open your eyes. How was your first meditation? Ah, oh, amazing. That was incredible. I can't believe Kyan was able to sit still for so long. <laughs> ah, it's all in the breathing. <laughs> Meditating really helps you look after your mind. It helps you to concentrate, be calm, and be kind to each other. Oh, mindfulness. Spot on, Foz. And the statue we are visiting today is of someone who helped many people be mindful. Let me tell you all about it with some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Rubicon's Funky Top Three. The giant Buddha of Lishan in China is over 1,000 years old. The huge statue of this famous wise man is carved straight into the mountainside. The Buddha was built where three rivers meet to protect travelers and make the rough waters safer. It's so giant, 100 people can sit on its foot. As tall as 23 elephants, it's the largest stone Buddha in the world. Go Jetters, I give you the giant Buddha of Lishan. Arriving at destination, Kinderdijk. Look at those windmills. Geographic. Whoa, it's like the Academy Wind Farm. But Kyan, these windmills are 150 years old. All those flowers look so cool. Today's National Mill Day. Every year, the local people decorate the windmills. Right, Ubercorn? That's right. Let me blow you away with even more funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn's Funky Top Three. Netherlands is a low, flat country in Europe. Almost a quarter of it is below sea level, so it's often in danger of flooding. The people here found a clever way to stop the flooding by building ditches and pumps to drain away the water. 150 years ago, this was all done by windmills using wind power. Nowadays, they use large pumping stations powered by diesel fuel or electricity. But some of the old windmills still work, too. Coordinate set for London in the United Kingdom. Welcome, tennis fans, to finals day at Wimbledon as the players warm up here on centre court for the mixed doubles final. I can't believe we got tickets. And on centre court? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Yahoo! <laughs> I can't wait! Go, tennis! <laughs> Kyan, you're only supposed to woo and ah at Wimbledon. <laughs> That's right, Zuli. Now, before the players begin, let me serve up a volley of funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Wimbledon in London is home to the world's most famous tennis tournament, which is over 100 years old. 
It's the only major championship still played on grass and is watched by over a billion fans all over the world. Wimbledon has strict rules on what the players wear. Everything has to be white. Players compete in knockout games until they reach the final, played on center court. To stop pigeons from interrupting matches, a trained guard hawk is employed to chase them away. He even has his own official photo pass. <laughs> Coordinate set for Mexico. Let's hit it! Go! Go, 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 go. So, why are the caves so dangerous? Let me explain with some urgent, funky facts. 300 meters beneath Mexico lies the spectacular Cave of Crystals, a hidden space that contains some of the biggest crystals in the world. Two. The cave is really humid, meaning the air is hot and wet. This makes the conditions perfect for many crystals to join together, growing bigger and bigger. Over thousands of years, some of these crystals have become as big as a bus. One. These crystals may look cold, but an ancient pool of molten rock far below makes this a super hot place to visit. <laughs> Almost there, cadets. Can we ace this? Yeah! Amazing! They've almost sailed right across the Atlantic! The wind is on your side, Kyan! You can break the Academy record! Wow! That's right! Is that what I think it is? Sure is, Zuli. It's the record-breaking Bishop Rock Lighthouse. Another record breaker? Amazing! Kyan, we'll watch you from there. Don't give up! Never have, never will! Race crew, your finish line is just past Bishop Rock. Sail wide of the lighthouse and keep clear of those rocks. But that'll take longer. It's the only way to go. Let me enlighten you with some funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Bishop Rock is located off the Isles of Scilly in the UK. It's the smallest island with a building on it in the world. Lighthouses flash light over long distances to warn ships about nearby rocks and land. One. Bishop Rock Lighthouse is built from hard stone and has stood for over 150 years. Huge waves can reach the top of this 49 meter tall tower. That's seven houses high. All done, Ubercorn. Pump activated. Nice work, Go Jetters. When the pressure gauge shows full, the sprinklers will turn on and water the whole field. Now, where have Kyan and Zuli got to? They were feeding the chickens, but that was ages ago. Leave me alone, you naughty pigeon! <laughs> Come back, Barbara! Whoa. What happened? Somebody left the gate open. It was a shortcut. Anyway, I didn't ask that pesky pigeon to follow me. Barbara is a chicken, and she was following her favorite food. Corn. No, blah, 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 no, Jetta. <sighs> What's this thing doing in my way? It's to help make our crops grow big and strong. Let me tell you more with some funky farming facts. Hit it. Funky facts, funky facts. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn, funky top three. Food crops are grown all over the world where there are different patterns of weather, known as climate. 
Some crops prefer it warm and not too rainy, while others grow better where it's wetter. Some places don't have rain all year round, so farmers store water and move it to the fields using special pipes. We call this irrigation. Our Gojet Academy has water all around it, but that's no good for farming because seawater is too salty. So we use irrigation to take stored water and spray it on our crops during the long, dry season. Sig plus sag equals a perfect slalom. Look, well, fantastic plus gymnastics equals Woohoo! Tasted! <laughs> Looking good, Gojettas! Just a little further and you'll reach your Gojet Ski Challenge! Huh? You mean this isn't it? Awesome! Ski jump! Whoa! Uh, Lars? That cable car is geographic! <laughs> it sure is, Lars. Let me fill you in with some ice cool funky facts. Brr. Funky facts! Funky facts! Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn, Funky Top Me! Whistler is a mountain in Canada that gets its name from the call of the furry marmots that live high on the icy slopes. Hit it! Two. In winter, Whistler gets covered in deep, deep snow, making the mountain a great place for skiers and snowboarders. One. Cable cars hang from long wires, stretching three kilometers across the valley and higher than the Eiffel Tower. Grr, that's one chilly high wire act. <laughs> it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> GoJet Academy, ready to enjoy one of nature's most spectacular events? Yeah! <laughs> well, before it's here, let me make things clear with some fast and funky facts. Hit it! The Academy is where it's at. With In space, planet Earth spins around the sun, while at the same time, the moon orbits the Earth. Every so often, the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, making a huge shadow across the Earth. This is known as a solar eclipse. Looking at the sun will damage your eyes. So the only way to safely watch an eclipse is with your pinhole projectors. in the day so weird and so cool look the bats think it's night time <laughs> nothing yet According to the coordinates, we're really close. It should be... Right oh. there! Geographic! Awesome! Cool treehouse! <laughs> and the amazing people that built it have invited you to visit. Let me tell you more with some high-rise funky facts. Hit it! Funky facts! Funky facts! Let me tell you about the place we're at. With 
Horawai are an ancient tribe who live in the rainforest of Papua, far away from towns and cities. Their houses are built to stand above the ground, safe from floods and buzzing insects, like mosquitoes. The Korowai used to live deep in the rainforest. They built houses and tree houses from everything around them. They even built some high in the treetops, not to live in, but to show what amazing builders they are. Ubercorn, you should see this. Well, that's strange, Foz. The underwater volcano near the academy is shaking things up more than usual. That doesn't sound good. What happens if it erupts? Hmm, let me fill you in with some red hot funky facts. Funky facts, funky facts. The academy is where it's at. With Ubercorn, funky top three. As well as on land, volcanoes can be found underwater. When these erupt, they can create islands. The Canary Islands, the Hawaiian Islands, and our very own Academy Island were all made by underwater eruptions. All these islands were created by molten rock called magma, erupting up from the ocean floor as lava which then cools down and becomes solid rock. Every now and then, a brand new island is born somewhere around the world. Geographic! I would love to see that! Like all volcanoes, the underwater ones can be dangerous, throwing huge explosions of lava, steam and rocks into the air. Boom! Here you go, team. Yummy chocolate hills. Aced it, Kyan. Mm, perfect travel snacks. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Amazing combinations. Toffee, raspberry, minty choc chip. <laughs> Imagine if the real chocolate hills were really made of chocolate. <laughs> I think we need some real funky facts. Somebody say funky facts? <laughs> Yow! Let's hit it. Let me tell you about the place we're at. With Ubercorn, the Chocolate Hills are on Bohol Island in the Philippines, a country made up of over 7,000 separate islands. The Chocolate Hills were created over thousands of years by water and wind eroding the rock and making this fantastic hilly landscape. Grass and ferns grow all over the hills. During the dry season, they turn a chocolatey brown color, which is how they got their name, the Chocolate Hills. 